Hi everyone, today we're going to be working on this lovely little um, picture. This is from um, this um, larger page from Rita Berman that we've been working on. And uh, we've got a little fun scene today. Let's try and pop it into the middle. There we go. Got a piece of paper under the page. I always do that just to try and stop any ink transfer happening. So we've got this sort of planting, spring planting scene, which is great fun. I thought we would just start with doing the soil and the pots and then uh, work from there. I don't know why I thought we would start with that, but hey. So I'm going to use my dark sepia to start with. It's quite a little pencil and uh, just um, start colouring really. I think both pots should have the same colour soil in them. I think that's uh, that would make sense, wouldn't it? So uh, i just do that. And I may colour both pots the same colour as well, but I shall have a think. Um, I hope everyone is well and uh, I'm doing okay. Um, we, are, uh, we keep seeming to come near contact with people with various illnesses but fortunately okay my son was ill for a couple of days but he's okay now I'm um, just a bit of a head cold really but that's all good so that is my basic now it looks a little bit gray to me which dark sepia is so let's go with a bit of brown and I'm just trying to decide how yellowy to go I think we'll use this one this is the Bistra, and it is a little bit yellowy, but not as much as some of the others. And we'll pop that on top, just to uh, make it look a little bit browner. Of course, soil can be really different colours. When my father-in-law lives, it's reddish in colour. And uh, where we live, it's quite pale. So it just depends, really. So you don't have to do it this colour. But uh, sort of peat or compost is actually normally a lot darker than this. But that might not be what this is. And I've just realised we've got soil at the bottom of the picture all along here as well. So we'll, we'll go back to our dark sepia and do that bit. Can you see? If I hold it down, you'll be able to see. So we've got like a little pile of soil here where the spade, trowel, sorry, is. I'm not a big gardener. My parents always were, and still are, and uh, so I used to help them out and plant seeds and grow little plants and things like that. And um, we we had a greenhouse which um, my dad inherited from his dad. We used to sort of grow tomatoes and things, which was great fun. But uh, when I moved out, I had a a house and I planted. Um, in the garden I planted potatoes and carrots I think and all the potatoes had some sort of blight or cre creature in them and um, the carrots didn't even grow so that was a little disappointing I'm not sure what's supposed to do in this space anyway we'll think about that we'll put the bistra on top so it put me off really and then when I moved here I um, thought I'd grow some tomatoes and I got some from um, our farmer's market, some organic tomato plants, I thought that would be brilliant. And uh, they got tomato mosaic virus and uh, were, and then I tried to grow some the following year and they had it as well. It must have gone into the spin in the soil. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, something was, uh, wasn't good so I'd just given up. I mean our... Um, garden only has about I think I'm going to do this area in a green like it's grass um, I think we've got a grass green but it's quite light I'm going to use a slightly darker green I'm going to use this um, leaf green and just do a little bit around here um, yeah it's it's uh, we we've only got half a meter of soil and then it's concrete under our garden and so I had been growing um, them in pots and grow bags and I think it had got into, it was either in the compost or in the pot or whatever. So it wasn't good. We'll put a bit here as well. We didn't do a background on any of the others, but because we've got the soil there, it just feels like we should be. I can hear a van. I'm expecting a delivery today. Um, my husband's ordered a book. So uh, 
Oh, it's not. It's uh, my next door neighbor's garage door. So uh, that's okay. Uh, I'm just trying to. I think that's a leaf. I'll just sort of take it up here a bit. I think I'm just going to leave it like that. We'll go over it with the lighter grass green though. <clears throat> oh, that's the light green. Hang on. Let's grab the right pencil. Yeah, this is the grass green. We'll just go over it. It just polys like a few layers. I mean, you could do, draw in grass bits, you know, a sort of um, use a dark colour and do some sort of actual blades of grass, but I don't think it's going to be necessary. We'll see how it looks. Right, pots. I like um, terracotta pots, so that's what I'm going to colour these as. Um, we have a terracotta in the uh, in the polychromos, so I'm going to start with that. I probably won't use it. I probably use other colours too. I'm going to colour the whole of these pots in the terracotta and then we'll, um, I'm just doing an initial light layer and then we'll think about whether we want to apply more layers of this or other colours. Let's see how it all works. It's been quite fun doing a selection of sort of spring slash Easter pictures. It's quite nice having a sort of theme because it sort of um, helps me to choose because sometimes I'm not always quite sure what to do um, picture wise so uh, I, te I do tend to just grab something I want to do and people ask me to do things and I will do those but I wait until I'm in the right mood for it because obviously I want to do it well but um, also because I do so many there's often times when I need something right that's our sort of basic layer I'm going to sharpen my pencil if I can find the sharpener. And uh, that's it. And do, I want to make this bit inside darker. It would be quite dark in here because there'd be shadow. And then just a bit on the edges on the top. The top would be quite light actually because it would be catching the light if you think about it. Now I think on this rim, maybe a bit darker on the edges and less towards the middle. You can see where Rita's marked it as well. And here, look, she's marked it much darker, just under here. And uh, so I'm just gonna use her uh, markings as a guide. Very handy. But I also think it would be darker on the edge. And that'll help to give it some look of shape. we might could add a darker colour I'm just looking I'm stopped to have a look because um, um, <clears throat> the um, light shining off the shiny pencil there we go So the sun shining, which is nice. It was really cold this morning. I popped out to uh, put the bins in because it's bin day, and uh, it was. I had to read my um, gas and electric meter as well, and because my bins sit in front of them, then uh, I did it before moving the bins. And I popped out. I was just in my cardigan as I am now, because um, I I put my boots on and just thought oh, I'll just pop out. It was so cold. It felt like it could snow. And then I was on the phone earlier to my parents. Well, my mum actually. My dad was hanging about. I don't know what he was doing. He was in and out. Um, and I swear I saw a few little bits of snow. A few flakes of snow, I should say, falling. But I wasn't sure. And my mum said it had been forecast. I don't watch the weather forecast. I'm going to add in a little bit of... Um, what should we use? I want to darken it up a bit. Hmm. Do we go really dark? No, we'll go, we'll do this brown. We'll do the Van Dyke brown. It's a sort of mid-brown, darkish mid-brown, I suppose. And what, we'll just put, put some darker patches in a few areas. Not too much. I don't want to make it look like it's too dirty. I want to try and just make it look like it's got some shadow trying to see what I'm doing uh, to move into an awkward position. It's 
by my the way my light's shining. It's as I say, it's really sunny at the minute, which is nice. So it's, I guess it's going to warm up outside. I need to post a letter really, so um, I want to go out. Hmm. See that emphasises that shadow, but it's looking a little scruffy now. We can deal with that in a minute. So just adding some shadowy areas to here as well. But I guess that what is what happens at this time of the year. We get very cold starts. My sister lives slightly more north in the country than me and she said they had a frost this morning, which we didn't have. We might as well have done it with that cold, but uh, no one had to scrape ice off car windscreens or anything which um, was a bit good for my husband who was running late when it came time to go to work. I'm going to go back over with the terracotta now just to sort of blend it all in together a bit. Yeah, luckily I've got a little post box which is less than five minutes away there and back. It's very quick. It's up a hill. It actually, you have to cross a busy road and there's a, a crossing, you know, um, traffic lights. And I always joke that you spend longer waiting at the traffic lights than you do actually walking to the post office and um, post box. It's that close. It used to be a post office there, apparently, before I moved in. And for years, there was a sign um, at the bottom of the road saying post office. I think I'll put a bit of the brown in there. Look. <clears throat> there's shadow there, isn't there, from under the... Um, into the handle that Rita's falling for us. So we'll just emphasize that a bit. So yeah, there used to be a post office and some of my neighbors remember it, but I don't, it wasn't here when I moved here. It was a house, it's now a house. But there's a good post office in town and it's only 20 minutes walk. So that's fine. I think I might leave them there. You could add a lot more colour, make them really dark terracotta, but I'm quite liking them, how they're looking. I'm going to leave it. So, little trowel. Now, I'm going to do a wooden handle, but we want to try and steer away from the colours that we've used already for the soil and the pot, which is going to be a bit tricky because we've used nearly every colour. So, we're going to start with a really light, um, this is the brown ochre. We use this first as our initial layer. And I'm thinking this bit will be um, silver. And this bit will be wood. I'm going to shade it down here where Rita has kindly um, showed us where to do it. And now we need, I want to draw some lines on to make it look more like wood. I've just picked up this Van Dyke brown, which we used already. It's just easier to grab it. And. Uh, Like that, just draw on some sort of wood line. I just got a little bit of shadow there and a bit more there. Yeah. Oops, I keep knocking the piece of paper that's under my book, it's dragging on my cardigan. Right, the um, actual spade part is going to be a silvery colour. So we use our cold greys. Oops, I'm going to start with my cold grey five. I don't know how clear that is. They're always quite hard to see, aren't they? and uh, put some colour either side. Um, I'm trying to think what this line is around here. I'm going to put a bit here because Rita's told us we need to. Maybe a bit that side too. Mm, I'm thinking it's going to be a bit darker at the bottom. I'll just take this colour up the sides a bit. That. We'd sort of have a shine, maybe. The problem is it's going to dip in there, but I think it would look better if we have a shine down the middle. So we'll do that. Oh, now we have the going to the cold grey four. Can't really see that, can you? It will just go around there. and just sort of scumble it in towards the middle. 
natural grey three next. Now I'm thinking a little bit about the um, other items in this picture. I really want to add some um, brightness. It's quite sort of dull colours at the minute. We want to leave some white, so I think we might just leave it there. Um, so, oh, actually I might just do a little bit more on the handle. That, that's it. So I'm thinking, um, are we going to do a really bright colour for the watering can maybe? Should we do pink? That'd be fun. And what have we got? What's that colour? We'll, go, we'll grab our madder and we'll start there. Okay, with the really dark, um, sort of reddish pink. And we'll do the handle. So I'm going to start this bit in here is going to be shadowed, particularly up here. So I'm going to layer that up and then do less as we go down. Layer that up there, a bit less like that. Oh, sorry, I'm just going to have to wipe my nose. Oh, oh sorry. Okay. Now, so a little bit darker down here and lighter as we go up the handle because of the way the light is going to be hitting it. We assume the light is going to be coming from the sun above. Like that. And a bit darker here. And lighter as we go up. Just emphasising that a bit by layering it over a little. Okay. And now with the um, this bit, the rose and the spout, I knew I would get the words eventually. We'll do it lightly on the top. And what we'll do, I'm just doing a light layer and then we're going to make it a bit darker under here because it's going to be more shaded down there. We'll do the same with the rose, so a bit darker there and lighter up here. I think we'll leave that bit white for now and we'll see what colours we add to the watering can. So our handle again, oops, lightening it, lighter amount of colour as we go up. Some more layers down here. We're a little bit heavier pressure. I try not to press too hard. I'd rather layer up and uh, then press over hard. There we go. Now I'm thinking about where else to put this colour in the sort of design and I'm thinking maybe these across stripes um, on all of it. I say across, horizontal is the word. I'm looking for that one. It's quite reddish this colour isn't it? I'm not sure if I'm doing this very consistently. There's three there, and I did that one at the top. And then there's only two there. Hmm. I don't know. Oh well, well, we'll fiddle with it. And we'll do these as well. In this colour, make it the sort of dominant colour. But not too close to the other parts that are this colour. And I think we'll add in two other colours. Uh, we could add in other shades of pink. Red, oh, reddish pink or we could go um, just something completely different like blue and uh, yellow or something um, what should we do? let's have a little look um, hmm. so what I'm doing in my thought process is I'm just looking up and down my rows of pencils thinking what's going to match this colour now I don't think pinks are going to work because it's too red but I don't think reds are going to work because it's too pink I don't think purples will really match it very well so I'm going to grab a blue that, that's my thinking process Oops. I have to just move my pencils around because there's three layers in the tin I've only got space for two I have to move them so this is the cobalt blue greenish and we use this for some of it. We've got a line there actually. Oh well. We use it for these dots like this. We won't use it for that dot though no, because we use it for this area. 
not sure. I'm trying to think now what's my third colour going to be. It's quite a vibrant watering can, isn't it? But um, I think I'm going to do this behind all the dots. Trying to um trying to think what to do. Um, hmm. See if I do it behind that one, then I've got two. Oh, I could do that one red. Matter, couldn't I? Yeah, let's do that. I think if we if we put it the blue behind all the dots it sort of adds consistency, doesn't it? So just um, finish this. Just I was just distracted. I had a notification. Um, my aunt plays were plays words with friends with me. I'm going to do the madder and do that line as I said I would and I'm actually going to do it there as well even though we could have used the other colour. I just think it will look better. I don't know why. I get the feeling for these things sometimes. Um, yes yeah, so she it says it's my turn on words for friends. I'd forgotten I had a notification earlier. Now the last colour. Hmm. Dark green or green gold. Maybe green gold will lift it. Oh, sorry, put my sleep. Oh, I'm right across there, didn't I? Green gold. And we'll use it for here. I think it'll just lift it a little bit. Maybe a brighter yellow might have worked better. But uh, we're doing this one now. I always add a brighter one on top, but I think it'll be fine. And the thing there, the, and this, but just gently. Hmm. There we go. So there's our watering can. Now we need some greenery for our plants. I think we'll keep it the same, just to um sort of um, make it a little bit easier really and to uh, so we're not introducing a million and one colors so I'm going to use the um, permanent green I could have used one of the colors from the grass but I decided I wanted to look a bit different because they're right against the grass there so we'll just pop this in here a bit lighter towards the tip I'm very excited to say from where I'm sitting here I can see my new pack of Prismacolor pencils sitting on the sofa. Now what I did was um, when they arrived I asked my husband if he could open them and just check they were all okay because they're obviously a present for me not to have until May. So I just asked him if he could check them and make sure they all look fine which they did and uh, he said they were all they come out of the trays a bit they're a bit higgity piggity but he put them back and he said they look good so that's great news i'm going to do these two butterflies um orange i know it sounds a bit out there but i'm just thinking let's we want to brighten this picture some more and it will sort of work in with the terracotta i think so this is the dark cadmium orange and i'm going to use this for the sort of the high the markings that's the word i'm looking for anyway so uh, i said he said are you sure you don't want to open them and i said well i want you to open them now just to check them but i don't want to open them because i want the joy of looking at all the different new colors on my birthday i don't want to do that now i want to wait and it's exciting and i know what colors the prismas have obviously um having been coloring since 2013 2013 yeah um i've seen enough um, Prisma um, pictures and I've got a few myself that I bought open stock so I know what to expect but I just want to have a look you know myself I'm just looking up this pencil number um, when it and have something to look forward to and something exciting so he did that for me this is orange glaze it's a little ickle and I'm going to use it to make some 
darker marks here. And then try and fade it a little bit. I've been a, that's because I've sharpened it, it's uh, going quite dark. I know it keeps out there and do the same here. Put some here at the bottom and then fade it up a little. Hmm. Trying to make it a bit darker near the butterfly's body. And here, look. I think we've missed a bit on the other side. Yeah, this bit. So the butterflies aren't identical, but I think it's nice to colour them the same. I'm going to skip down a colour and go down to this one, which is the dark chrome yellow. It's very orangey, so that we've got a bit of a contrast between the two colours. And I think it will just, it will look more obvious that there's different colours, rather than using the next orange, which I think was just the cadmium orange, which is really quite similar. Trying to put this on quite hard, so I'm putting layering it up a bit, probably pressing too hard. But hey ho, and I realise I've again forgotten this second wing on the little butterfly over here. <laughs> oh, I was uh, listening to a webinar this morning on apprenticeship degrees. I must just type a message from my boys while I'm talking to you, and um, and um because my children are interested in it. And uh, so, um, sorry, I'm really distracted. I've got to remind them to have their COVID um, boosters today. We've got a drop in at college. And our surgery hasn't got any vaccine, so we're gonna have it done at college. Right, I'm gonna get to do the bodies of the um, butterflies. As we've done the sort of bright greys for the for the um, trowel, I was going to say shovel. I'm going to use the brownie grey, so the warm greys for the bodies. So I'm going to use um, this is warm grey five. I'm going to use yeah. Um, so I was looking at something on apprenticeship degrees. I mean, it has a, an advantage in that you're working at the same time as studying, so you're getting paid. You have one day. Um, as far as I can tell, I don't know if they're all the same. But you seem to have one day release into college or for studying, often it's online. And um, you, your tulip, what colour for the tulip? Um, why do a light pink? Let's do this pink. This is the light purple pink. It's very different to the madder. I'm going to sharpen it. But you are expected to study for 16 hours a week which means that you get one day off to study so you have to use a weekend day as well so you'll be working four days a week studying two days a week it sounds like a lot of work to me but it is a way to get a degree for free so it's interesting and uh, we'll see what they decide I really loved doing my degree because it was so easy and I didn't do much work but maybe that isn't such a good <laughs> attitude. I've grabbed the cadmium yellow because I think this could be a daffodil. So I'm going to do really bright yellow um, petals and the centre I should do a little bit darker like the um, like oh we haven't done any daffodils on this page. Um, other daffodils that I have shown you. We're going to actually use this dark chrome yellow that we used on the butterfly to do the centre of the daffodil. And I'm thinking maybe this little one, maybe this is a purple crocus. I don't know, maybe. Let's uh, let's do it in our mauve colour. So this is mauve, if you believe me. Uh, and we'll try and shade a little bit on this one, so press a little harder in the centre and less towards the tip and more more layers oh gosh that was a big amount of post that plopped through the letterbox maybe it was the um, parcel I'm expecting I wasn't sure it was an Amazon purchase sometimes they come with the post sometimes they don't I'll go and investigate in a minute but I'm just going to look at this and see I'd like to do some white dots on here 
before I finish. I'm not going to rush off and get my post as much as my brain's telling me I want to. Um, so just shaking up my pen. This is just my white Posca. I'm going to put a little bit down here to make it look like our watering can is a bit shiny. We've got some now. I shall put we've got some black ones there. I'll put a few white ones here and there. Maybe here, maybe there. I'm doing it on the slightly darker areas of pencil because it shows up better. I don't think the terracotta pots would shine because they're usually quite a sort of matte finish, but we'll put a few bits on the trowel because it's metal. And the flowers. Yeah. Not sure, let's just go for it. Crocuses do not have dots, but you know what? This one does. Let's go there and there. Should we do some on the butterfly? Let's do some yellow ones on the butterfly. Um, let's do it around here. This is the yellow Posca. Let's put one in there, that'll show up more. And do it around there. Maybe one on each of these little black triangles because it will show up. And then here we'll do one in there. A few there. I don't know how well this will show up, but that will. There we go. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, I think I'll leave it there. I mean, you could do a bit of a blue back behind because we've got the green at the bottom. But because I haven't done backgrounds on the others, I'm not really intending to do them. Maybe on that one later, but maybe not on the rest. So I think I'm just going to leave it. I'm quite happy with how it is anyway. So let's uh, let me show you the full page. You can have a little look, and uh, and we're done. So thank you so much for watching. Um, please enjoy the rest of your day. Try and have some fun. Don't be naughty though. And happy colouring. <laughs>